G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Colt Woodsman pistol. Now, this is a pistol that fires tiny, tiny little 22 bullets, but don't underestimate it. Right off the bat, I haven't touched this thing. I'm already getting 135 damage out of this, which is... I don't know what kind of bullets it's firing, but damn, that's some pretty good damage for a 22. All right, let's make that even better. And first of all, we've got the receivers, which can be either in auto or semi-automatic. Executive receiver is the highest tier of these receivers. So let's just go for an executive receiver there. Let's already push it up to 206 range and 128 fire rate and 196 damage. We could probably just get away with using this thing now, but the madness doesn't stop there. Going over the barrels right off the bat with the accelerated barrel, almost 300 damage from that. You've also got a long and short variant of those for a little bit more customizability. And you've also got an explosive barrel, which brings it up to almost 900 damage, which is out damaging War Daddy's anti-material rifle. So yeah, that's something. You've also got a fusion barrel in short and long variants there. There's also a standard one hidden all the way down here, and there's laser barrels as well. This thing can basically shoot anything you want. Long explosive barrel actually get you up to 1k damage, so you know what? We're going to chuck that on. Next up for the sights, you can choose between a range of scopes. We'll go for a reflex sight on this. I've noticed that the sights don't really work. This thing does use deliver animations, but for some reason the gun's a little bit too high and you can't actually see through the sights, so I feel like a little reflex sight is going to be good there. And if we want, we can put a suppressor on this. This multi-suppressor, which um, doesn't really match this barrel, makes it almost, uh, yeah, 1300 damage. Also, that tactical rail hasn't got the right texture on it. Alright, so the basic suppressor. That one will get us a little bit less damage, but at 1100, I feel like we're going to be quite fine with this thing. And you've got a bunch of other grips you can chuck on this thing. Angel grip gives you the best stats. Um, it has a little angel wing pattern. Assassin's grip has looks like what is blood. Then there's comfort grip, marksman grip, and the Santa grip, as you saw before. And we can make our mag size a little bit larger. And with a quick eject mag, we can make our reload a little bit quicker. And there's a legendary effect if you need it. I don't think we'll need it. Image like that, there's no reason to ever be subtle. Excuse me, go away. Alright, let's just get started on Immersive Gunners Plaza, where all of the gunners are going to die a fiery, painful death because my 22 feels like being a god weapon, I guess. So, yeah, I was expecting to be, you know, having to play this a little bit subtle because obviously a Silence 22 pistol, do you remember that from Fallout New Vegas? That was like a stealth weapon that you take into casinos to kill Benny or something. Well, that was one of the ways you could do it, but no, this thing just happens to be a god weapon. So this is a basic explosive one that I saw before, or that you saw before on the crafting bench. So, yep, hitting for 1k damage, and it, it explodes with like a Molotov fire, which is kind of neat. Moving on, this is the one with the plasma barrel, and it kind of shoots cubes. This one is also automatic. I should probably mention, you can get the ammo just from a chemistry workbench. And it'll cost you a bunch of things. There's a little bit of um, perks to actually craft it that you need. But all in all, that's probably a good way of balancing this weapon rather than just making it have a um, ammo type that's already used in the game, like 38. So that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to shoot at someone and then I'm going to turn free cam on so you can actually have a look at the projectiles. So, they're just kind of like cubes, which is weird. Maybe they're untextured. I think they might be untextured as well as the glow thing, so... I don't know, maybe this mod installed dodgily, but... Nonetheless, I'm actually kind of... I actually kind of like this style. It's, it's kind of like the hollow rifle. Now, obviously, with a critical, we can easily one-burst these guys. Same thing happens with the laser gun. It's a hit scan weapon, yet the lasers still linger around for a second. So I'm imagining something in the install must have gone bad. Maybe some directories are bad. Maybe um, something that was required of the mod wasn't delivered on the Nexus. But um, yeah, even though these things are here, I actually think it's giving the weapon quite a bit of character because we've never seen this before. It looks kind of cool, right? We are into Nerd Rage, though, because we're playing super aggressively against the stronghold of Gunners, but that's okay. Let's just activate that. No problem taking out these guys whatsoever. I'm going to hold off opening that lock up because, my luck, it'll be um, slowed down as well as the rest of the world. can't believe we missed all of those shots. 
Anyways, never mind that. We'll quickly take out the rest of these guys right here. I'll switch back to the explosive one so I don't have to aim. Makes things easier. It certainly does. Let's just get this thing open. And then shoot the ground until everyone dies. Oh my god, this is like two-shot explosive in Fallout 76. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding, this is a lot better, because there's actually a fiery explosion to go with it. Which is fun. Don't you try to scare me, mate. Okay, they are bashing us with our guns. We leveled up, so we get a free heal. And I think we're about done. No, we're still... We've still got one person left. I must have missed that person. Wait, where are they? Probably shouldn't have dropped down from there. Ah, oh, you're just over there. Well, you're getting a critical strike. And it takes him out in one shot. Okay, so obviously this thing has a lot of modifications to actually make it perform like it does, which is fun to have, but... For someone looking for a more realistic approach to this, I've also grabbed this one with just a suppressor and a long barrel. So we're going to actually do this a little bit on the subtle side inside Gunner's Plaza. We'll see how we do. And to think all of the times that I've been through this cell and I'm still terrible at PvP at Fallout 76. Very well. So this is just an unmodified long barrel. I'm just going to show you the weapon card real quickly. That's not our weapon. This is our weapon. So 188 damage, which is... Probably too much for a 22, but nonetheless, we're able to get good sneak attack crits with it. If we can actually hit our targets. And I might have not wanted to put the automatic um, receiver on this, but I'm kind of glad that it is here because it is making clearing Gunner's Plaza exceptionally easy. So, whatever. So far, so good. Everything's been quite subtle so far. Haven't been detected yet. That's critical, we'll take him out one burst with sneak attack criticals. It's weird, because I feel like this is hitting a lot harder than it should with sneak attack criticals. Maybe there's some sort of... Oh, we got into danger for a second. Cover's blown, we're made! No, we're, we're fine. Maybe it's the exceptionally high rate of fire that's pushing this thing's damage right off the charts. Maybe that's why it's like that. Oh no, we're actually made this time. Captain Bridget's going to come around the corner. We're going to have the best pistol duel ever. That was some pretty good blind fire from that gunner. You're dead, you say? No, it is you who is going to be dead. Alright, we'll go up to this dude in here. Let's see what he's got. Is it a... It's a nothing. Can't actually see what weapons I have equipped, can ya? Oh well. Even still, we are detected and we can... Pretty much kill everyone very, very easily. Yeah, you pop a stim pack. You try to outpace my DPS, Captain Bridget. She's got a nasty gun bash in her. Good on you, Captain Bridget. You're the biggest threat all week. I like burst firing this thing. I should probably deal with the elephant in the room, though, shouldn't I? I don't really know what to say about this thing, because even if it's even its most tame form that I could make with the best parts and everything, it's still cleaning up everything like some sort of god gun, so even this alone I probably could have cheesed Immersive Gunner's Plaza with it, but still, it's there if you want it. If you run a really powerful but subtle pistol only if you really make it subtle, then yeah, this is the mod for you. We'll move on to some monsters. Well, it looks like the Battlefield 1 fog has made a triumphant return into my life. That stuff was cool. I actually like that because, yeah, the fog would roll in. Sure, it'd be annoying that you can't see anything, but then you start, you just start cruising around slowly in your tank, and then you stop for a second. You hear people stomping around you, and then you fire up the engines, and like, then you stop, and then everyone around you is just silent. Oh, the sounds in Battlefield 1, it's so good. Too bad the gameplay was so shit. Oh, well. Anyway, so this is just the big-ass explosive one, or I guess the small explosive one, and yeah, it kills one very, very quickly. I think we've lost him in the fog. I'm glad that we are detected, though, because otherwise I just would have been shooting at a floating health bar at, at some fog, but that's a little bit of a cool ambient to it, I guess. Just a huge silhouette of Swan, even though it is kind of ruined by the massive boat of Swan on him, but... Good try anyway, Swan. You had no chance today. Why am I looting? I never even saved past this point. Anyways, we'll move on to another monster, I guess.
Okay, fog's gone. Now let's see how we do when we scope in at targets from a little bit further distance. Oh, these raiders haven't decided to spawn today. Who's that? You look like a gunner. You're just a scavenger. Your face has been changed by one of the mods I installed ages ago. Yep, so have those raiders. I forget that I mod Fallout 70, no, Fallout 4 so much. Everything seems so vanilla in Fallout 76 sometimes. Anyways, now let's take on some super mutants. We'll get in sorta of close so we can scope them out. And then we're just gonna crit them. And take them out like that. We'll just let the game do most of the heavy lifting, I guess. I like how the eye tracking sometimes on Vat's critical cameras is weird. Because you saw Winter was looking in a completely different direction. So I don't know what was going on there. Oh, not detected yet. Got to sneak in there. Oh, subtle lack. Oh, I'm actually running low on the old bullets. So if I can't do this before my ammo is out, then I'm in a lot of trouble. That being said, I should probably switch to something a little bit more semi-auto so I can conserve it a little bit easier. Alright, let's go for a crit on you. Yeah, what are you looking at there, Winter? Eyes on the eyes on the prize? She was looking at the camera just then. Keep your head in the game. We didn't get a headshot on him because I didn't bother correcting where Vats was aiming, but that's okay. We'll get a critical on him, and unfortunately, um, I think we lost a little bit of damage with the penetrator perk. I don't know. Didn't feel like we're hitting him as hard as we ought to. Wow, did you see how many AP we're using per shot? Let me just show you that again. It might be so small that you can't even see it, especially if you're watching on a phone screen, so... And with all of that, I didn't even have um, Grim Reaper's Sprint proc there, and I've already got my action points back like that, so... Balance of this weapon isn't its strong point. And there's Winter looking off to God knows where again. Maybe that's just her rolling her eyes. It's the overpoweredness of this weapon. Hey, I made it like this. If you don't want it to be overpowered, there's lesser attachments for you to attach to make it less of the cheesy variety, I suppose. We'll go for a critical. Now you're dead. He ragdolls right into us. Luckily, he's got no collision because that would have been a pretty tough hit. All right, we're done with it. Now on to Gerald, I suppose. So... We could probably get him in one VATS run. I'll do this with a suppressor. I'll do it with the weakest variant I can of this that I have on me right now. Let's see if we can't get him. Has he even finished with the gunners yet? I don't know. Let's just go for some shots on these Super Mutant Warlord dudes. Yep, number three, four. All right, this will be a gun through massacre if I could actually hit these guys. Well, that didn't go as well as I thought, no. We'll go for a critical on you. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit more reasonable damage, but looking at my ammo counter now, we might run out soon. Alright, there goes another super mutant. We'll go ahead and just keep on shooting this fellow. Oh, those... Those Vats misses are going to be the death of me, because if I run out of ammo against Gerald, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Speaking of which, where did the old dude get himself? Oh, I think I see him. Yep, he's over there. I think he's trying to make a run for it. He smells all the dead super mutants in their guts everywhere. Either that or he's trying to get the drop on me this time. Not happening, my friend. You're getting some of this. All those vat shots. I'm gonna smash that space button for criticals as they come along. We should be able to nail him with constant sneak attack criticals and Vats criticals as they come up. That's one mag down. We should be okay. So, I think there's some balancing that needs to happen with this weapon. Yes, but like I said before, if you don't want it to be overpowered, just put all the... the um, lesser attachments on it, but sometimes it's fun to do well with a hand cannon of a pistol firing tiny teeny little 22 bullets, and what's that got left? We've got about 70 bullets left? Yeah, so you run through ammo a little bit quickly, so that steep crafting requirement on the ammo might actually be the thing that half balances it, but still, it's a 22, and my, my, um, my What's it called? Suspension of disbelief? That's kind of shattered right now, but that's okay. We, we do that all the time here. Yeah, it's par for the course. What are you looking at, Winter? What are you smiling at? 
Something's got our attention. I don't know what it is. Thank you for watching, guys.